Now Jesus had just finished speaking to a few thousand people by the Sea of Galilee and he was exhausted. So he said to his disciples, hey look, let's grab a boat and go across to the other side of the lake because I'd just like to spend some time alone with you guys. Peter, how long would that take? Oh, about two hours, he said. Okay then, it's time for you to show us some of your famous sailing skills that you've been telling us so much about. Legendary, world's best practice, laughed Peter. So they loaded up the boat with some supplies and off they went. It was a starry night and it was going to be beautiful. Everyone was in a great mood. They had some food, some wine, laughing and talking as they set off on a new adventure. Life with Jesus was anything but ordinary. But Peter was standing up by the mask, looking out to sea and up in the sky. Matthew said, hey, what's up? And he said, well, the temperature's dropped and it's not normal. Then he shook his head and said, nah, nothing I can't handle. So he put it out of his mind. Besides, I'm not a party pooper, he thought. On a night like this, what could possibly go wrong? But before long, the conversation had started to slow down a little. And Jesus stood up and said, OK, guys, I need to sleep. So he went to the back of the boat, put his head on some old ropes, wrapped an old sail around him and just went straight to sleep. Just like that. Bartholomew looked at him and said, wow, how does he go to sleep like that? I wish I could. The boat's walking him to sleep like a little baby, said Philip. Simon, who was sitting next to James, said, Philip, I wish you hadn't mentioned rocking the boat. I feel sick. I always get sick when I'm in a boat. And everyone laughed out loud, and that just made it worse for Simon. And then somebody yelled out, Hey, Simon, what did you have for breakfast this morning? And he just said, without thinking, Oh, I think I had some Uncle Tobias wheat books. Or maybe it was some, some amateurian cornflakes. Oh no, you got me talking about food. No, don't. I'll just be sick. Everyone roared with laughter. Everyone, except Andrew and Peter. What do you think, Peter? I think it's out of control and it's heading our way. Well, that's a bit dramatic. Is it really that bad? Mate, you and I have been in some real shockers over the years, but this one's different. It's come up so quick and it's angry and it's crazy. And that noise is starting to really spook me out. Our boat's got too many people on it. If the waves get any bigger, we could be swamped and that would be the end of it. Judas yells out, Simon's as sick as a dog, we've got to go back. I doubt we'd even make it back, says Thomas. Someone yells out, Peter, what should we do? Peter looks around. The waves and the disciples and the sails. It was raining and cold and dark. They were in trouble. Matthew grabs hold of the mast and says, can I help you? Is there anything you need? And Peter with panic in his face says, I think we're going to need a bigger boat. Simon went white in the face and threw up all over his feet. <laughs> James did the same but over the side. <laughs> Those that could still speak yelled at Peter, who was the captain of the ship, Peter, help us. But Peter realised he didn't have a clue what to do, something that he had never experienced before. Then someone screams out, why don't we wake up Jesus? Maybe he can help us. But others said, no, he just brought us out here for us to die. The others said, no, don't be stupid. Of course he'll help us. So they gathered around the boat shouting, Jesus, Jesus, wake up, help us. Jesus opens his eyes to see crazy, scared faces yelling at him. He stands up, gets his balance, looks around at the situation, then calmly walks towards the front of the boat with waves splashing all around him. He holds up his arms and tells the storm, Storm, be still. And immediately the storm calms, just like air coming out of a balloon. He turns around to see the 12 disciples in absolute horror and panic. The stress gauge had already been at 10, now it's been cranked up to 11. No one had ever seen someone do this before and the disciples were just gasping. 
Who is this man? How can he do such a thing? How can someone have so much power? But Jesus calmed it by saying, Why were you so afraid? Why didn't you have faith? And then soon everyone had calmed down and they were talking amongst each other as if they were just excited to be alive. Then after that, they got together and fixed up the boat as much as they could and limped forward to the shore safely on land. Jesus, Peter and John were standing at the mask. Are you okay, Peter? said Jesus. Master, I feel like I failed everyone. We almost drowned. I, I thought I could handle anything, but I was wrong. I didn't know what to do. And Jesus put his hands on Peter's shoulders. Peter, remember this day. Remember this day. Jesus looked at Peter, smiled, and hugged him. You're going to be okay, mate. You're going to be okay. And he smiled. He said, is that Uncle Tobias Wheatbix on your beard? How did that get there? The end. <laughs>